Hey everyone, I'm Jasmine Lee. And I'm Selena Young. And we're here today with the Q3 market update stats for you for Santa Clara and San Mateo counties. All right, so we're gonna compare Q3 of 2023 to Q3 of 2022. Yes, Okay. <laughs> we are. So Jasmine, what's going on in Santa Clara County? What's going on with new listings? Okay, so in Santa Clara County in Q3 of this year, mm -hmm. we were actually down by about 15, almost 16%. Oh wow. Yeah, so last year we had 2,736 new single family homes mm -hmm. come onto the market in Q3. Okay. Okay. And now what are we down to? And so this year, so we went from 2,700 to 2,302. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you have in San Mateo County for number of new listings? San Mateo County follows similar trends, but not as big of a drop for us. Okay. Um, last year in um, this time, we had 1,300 homes that were active on the market that were on new listings. Okay. This year, we're down to 1,226. So that's oh, about okay. a... It's almost 6% drop okay. in number so, of new listings yeah. compared to the same time last year. All right. Well, and you guys have fewer units in San Mateo yes, County, Santa right? Santa Clara tends to have a lot more inventory yes. than San Mateo County. <laughs> but it is interesting to see the differences in the data. So mm -hmm. let's see. Okay. So that was number of new listings. What about number of homes that actually sold during last uh, this third quarter? <laughs> <laughs> and during this third quarter, we were actually down 12.95% okay. for the number of homes that sold. So that means that... Last year at this time, it was um, 1,027 homes that sold. Okay. This year, 894 single family homes went into contract and closed. Okay. What about in Santa Clara County? In Santa Clara County, very similar. We have a 15% drop there as well. Well, you okay. had 13% drop. Okay. We have 15% drop in the number of homes, single family homes that actually sold. Okay. Last year, we had about 2,270. This year, about 1,920. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. All so, right. People don't want to sell right now. People don't, I was going to say, not a lot of new listings coming on. No. Not a lot are selling. So, <laughs> But people are selling if they are in, what, like really important life moves, basically. Yes. Right? A lot of our clients this year have been people who are having, a, their families are growing, so they need a little bit more space. Mm -hmm. Or we know that a lot of other colleagues have had clients who are, say, getting divorced or relocating. The, or a death in the family, or unfortunately. Or a death in the family. Yeah, so these like big that. life changes. And that probably has to do with high interest rates, too. Yeah, people don't want to sell right now because interest rates are really high. And uh, that is... What we're seeing in the market but let's see what about days on market for these single family homes oh yes <clears throat> so, how fast are they selling so we have days on market have gone down compared to the same time last year by about 14 percent 14 percent okay which means instead of taking 14 days to sell it now it takes 12. okay so okay things are still moving <laughs> fairly quickly okay so you had a 14 percent drop that's mm -hmm. actually not that big of a difference no. really two days on the market difference mm -hmm. for you right yeah but in santa clara county this is what's so crazy so even though the interest rates are up the days on market are way down mm -hmm. so last year in the third quarter for single family homes in santa clara county they were selling an average on 16 days on the market or sorry median the median days on market mm -hmm. was 16 days on the market this year slashed in half and it's only and it's 50% these oh, homes, Jesus. yeah these homes are selling in only 8 days okay okay and for pretty what, high I prices. Think, what do we think? What do we think about that? Like, why do we think that it's selling so quickly? Okay, so that's a good question. Yeah. So last year in Q3, we were in a really rate reactive market, which mm -hmm. is kind of funny because this year, even though the rates are higher, buyers haven't really been reacting as much. So there was a bigger shift in the market last year when we went from Q2 to Q3. Q3 is when we really saw the rates start to take their effect. Yes. And didn't you notice a lot of mm -hmm. buyers were backing out of the market last yeah, year? Yeah, they were. They were like, oh, we're just going to wait and see, wait and yeah. see, wait and see. But there's still buyers who really need to buy, and mm -hmm. those are the ones that are still buying because they want to buy, right? Like our mm -hmm. clients that were upgrading to the bigger homes yeah. or moving out of the area, right? Stuff like that. So there's definitely um, a lot of reasons that people are moving right now and they're moving fast because they are doing it in a median days on market of eight days in yes. San Clara County. Well, and also because there's just such limited inventory. So yeah. if a nice home does come on the market and say there's mm -hmm. nothing too crazy weird with it, everyone wants to jump on it. Yes. <laughs> no one wants to lose up this opportunity because there's not a lot to pick from. Yeah. It's true. Um, what are you seeing for the median sales price in San Mateo County? Great question. So last year in Q3, homes were selling for 1.8 million. This year, 1.83. 
So we've gone up about 2%. Okay. <laughs> One okay. and a half, 2% in okay. sales price. So not a huge increase, but still no. an increase in price. Yeah. You would think that with all of the rates taking their effect, mm -hmm. that the prices would actually come down, but that's not what you're seeing. Not really. Okay. No. What about in Santa Clara County? Well, we're not seeing it in Santa Clara County either. Of course <laughs> not. What's going on? <laughs> prices are up. So this is just compared to Q3 of last year, okay? Mm -hmm. And so prices are up in Santa Clara County by 8.7%. That's a big difference. Yeah. Okay. So we went from having a median sales price in Q3 of last year of 1.66 million okay. to a median sales price this this third quarter mm -hmm. of 1.8 million. Jeez. Okay, so very similar to San Mateo mm -hmm. County. So you're 1.83, we have a 1.8 million. So that's really interesting because yeah. usually like the houses in San, Santa mm -hmm. Clara County are typically more affordable, but yeah. they're kind of evening out now. They are. But mm -hmm. again, we are looking at median sales price, not average. So sure. that, that could be one of the factors too. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. some people would argue that the median sales prices are more uh, accurate data. But I would too. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the condo and townhouse market and see what is going on there. Do you think that the condo townhouse market is following similar trends? Do you think there's some differences? What do you got going on? You know, we are following some similar trends, but condos and townhomes in San Mateo County, for a number of new listings, for example, okay. last, um, we had a five, about a 5.67 drop for single family homes. For condos and townhomes, we're down 15% for a number hmm. of new listings. Okay. So, so a not little, as many coming Not on. as many coming on, so a bigger hit. Okay. All right. What about in Santa Clara County? In Santa Clara County, the condo townhouse market inventory is actually fairly flat compared to Q3 of last year. Oh, so, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Last year, we had about 1,144 condos mm -hmm. and townhomes come onto the market in the third quarter. This year, we had 1,141. So <laughs> that's only three units difference. Okay. I think so it helps pretty in Santa flat. Clara that there are a lot more condos and townhomes to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, and then as far as like the units that actually sold for mm -hmm. condos and townhomes, we were, I saw a difference there. Okay. So not a big difference in inventory for condo townhomes, no. but, um, there was a bigger difference in the number of units that actually sold. So we were down about 16% compared to last year. So um, how many of those but, units did sell then? So last year we had a thousand and five units that closed escrow okay. in the third quarter. This year we had 841. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 800 does not sound like a lot. No, it does not. <laughs> it's For not. a three month period. No, yeah, it's not. Exactly. Well, in San Mateo County, which got, we were, we were seeing similar trends, Okay. Um, but a slightly bigger drop. So we actually, the number of homes that sold went down by 21.24%. Oh, okay. Yeah. So for condos and townhomes last year, Q3, that was 339 that sold mm -hmm. this year, 267. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Only 267. I know. Okay. Not a lot to pick from. Well, how fast are they selling? Let's see. So um, in Santa Clara County, we saw a very similar trend as far as days on market goes, mm -hmm. what we just saw in the single family home market. So single family home days on market was down 50%. Condo townhomes, we went from 17 days on the market last year. Uh, median days on market this year is nine days for Q3. So that was a 47% difference. Wow. Okay. Yes. We did not have that big of a drop in San okay. Mateo County. We went from 16 to 15 days on market. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Not <laughs> so we had a 6.25% drop for the median okay. days on market. Nothing, nothing too crazy okay. like Santa Clara County. <laughs> and what about price? So, you know, in our last market update video yeah. that we did, we talked about how the condos were kind of becoming Coming, like similar in price for both counties, yes, right? Yes, they were. So I'm showing a median sold price in Q3 for Santa Clara of $965,000 for this third quarter. Last mm -hmm. year it was nine twenty. dollars so median price is up by almost 5%. It's funny that we brought up what we talked about in our last video because Santa Ca San Mateo County is still following similar trends. Okay. So we went from $900,000 for the median sales price in last year's third quarter. Mm -hmm. This year, nine hundred and fifty. dollars so, so we're actually more just, expensive in Santa Clara County now for condos and townhomes. I know. So I think that's the first time that's happened. Pulled ahead a little bit there. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Not that big of a difference, but still a difference. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. okay. Well, that's all we've got for you guys for the Santa Clara County and San Mateo County market report. Do you have anything else that you want to add? I was going to say, if you have any questions or you would like, um, 
would like our copy of our reports because we do get all of these every quarter. Yes, we do. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us because we can provide this information to you. Mm -hmm. And we're always happy to jump on a call and talk about what all these stats actually mean. Yes. And we can also break it down for you city by city. So mm -hmm. if you want specific stats for each, any of the cities in either of these counties, just let us know and we can generate market reports for you every quarter that show you guys specific city stats. Mm -hmm. So that's all we got for today. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next quarter. Bye.